Good morning. Today I'm going to go over this uh, very simple DIY solar ground mount rack. It's pretty clean. It gets the panels off the ground and it's cheap. You can get everything you need at a Home Depot or a Lowe's, maybe even a local hardware store. So first I'm going to show you the front. You can see we have uh, two concrete, uh, uh, I guess you would call them piers. And the panels are bolted down there. We'll go over that in a second, but I want to show you the back. So there's a total of six of these steel struts. They're called super strut or uni strut, and you can get them. Definitely you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot, possibly even your local hardware store. And we've got two steel poles also bolted uh, to the uh, super strut. And they go down and they act as the other two legs and you can put concrete uh, in the hole and secure those really nice. So it's super clean. It works really well, gives you plenty of room. And you can also adjust the <clears throat> tilt angle based on where you put the uh, the poles. So you could also, if you wanted to be able to change the tilt angle, you could put a third or third and fourth pole in the ground and bolt this pole to them and th thereby be able to alter the angle with the time of year. For me, I don't, I don't really care about that. In the summer, you get so much extra power that having a permanent winter, winter uh, tilt angle is no big deal for me. So <clears throat> First of all, up front here, you can see this is a cylindrical uh, concrete pier. You can get these, uh, what remains of these tubes here. This is an 8 inch Quick Creek tube. And you just bury that part way in the ground. And you line your two piers up perpendicular to the direction that your poles are going to face. So if I go in a line right here, if I want to go east-south, or sorry, north-south orientation of the solar panels, then I want to align this east-west. But other than that, they don't need to be uh, exact distance apart because these channels have holes spaced all over the channel. So they just need to be close enough together that the cross beams of the super struts can connect the two main beams. If you look down here, uh, when I poured the pier, I put in a bolt. I think that's a half inch bolt. Anyways, it just needs to be able to fit through this uh, component here, which is a hinged super strut unistrut attachment. So this can actually rotate up and down so you can actually pick the angle that you want. Uh, so use that on either side. So it bolts to a unistrut. Same thing over here. The hinge bolts to the unistrut. And so these are the two main struts that come off the piers. And then we'll move around to the back. On the back, you can see here's the main, here's the main strut. I go down here, main strut, and we have cross members, which is uh, what the panels will actually attach to. So based on the size of your solar panels, you'll pay, place these cross struts at a specific distance apart. So they're just bolted onto the main strut here. And then the panels, can just slide on to these struts. Let me see if I can get a view in there. There's a leaf. You can see in there, there's a little blue, uh, it's called a um, cone nut. And the cone nut, it has a hole in it for a bolt, but it can actually slide along the track of the unistrut. So, you just need four cone nuts 
per panel. You could use more because most panels have, uh, I think, six holes per panel, but you just need four cone nuts. These panels are attached in two places right there. There's a cone nut. Right there, there's a cone nut. So you can just slide the panels onto the Unistrut. So super simple. We have a total of we have a total of six uh, super struts. We have two main struts and then six for attaching the panels. So to attach four panels like this, I need two concrete tubes. I need two hinges. I need six struts. I need four times four cone nuts or 16 cone nuts to actually mount the panels onto the struts. And then you're gonna need these two poles. They don't have to be this uh, thick a gauge. I had these lying around. Um, but if you can see up there, there's a component. It's just a right angle hinge, um, unistrut component, kind of like the, the hinge I showed earlier on the concrete pylons, except this hinge is fixed. So you'll just connect a bolt to the pole. Um, you'll have to drill a hole, connect the, the bolt uh, to the pole through the hinge, and also the hinge needs to be connected to the strut. And then you can uh, actually, I actually did this by myself. I was actually able to raise these panels up by myself, just moving each pole up a little bit at a time. But the end result is you've got a very strong, uh, basically a four-legged, two of them legs are pier concrete piers, and then you've got two steel legs. Um, so this isn't going anywhere. You can concrete in the poles. Um, but this is also uh, grounded because all the metal on this structure is grounded be via these poles so that's another benefit and it's not wood so it's not going to rot uh, the most expensive part of this setup is definitely the struts the steel struts but it's probably cheaper than anything else you're going to find um, specifically for mounting solar panels and the other advantage is you can get this um, locally at your big box uh, hardware store. So I think that about just about covers it. If you have any questions, please post them below and I'll try to answer that. But again, very simple. This will work for different size panels. You just have to change the spacing of your side struts. It allows you to um, mount at any angle you desire. Um, again, you could have this so that you can change the angle. You would just have to add a way to bolt these two steel poles to another set of fixed structures on the ground that would enable you to change the angle. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.